this is Dragon Reaper 35 and welcome back to the Dragon Guide of the Resident Evil Marathon with Resident Evil Zero the game and me Steven <laughs> <laughs> and my trusty partner okay last time we stopped sort of question mark stopped the train now we are going to finish this place. Oh right, yeah. You cannot make herb. You suck. But you can. Just take them, but you can't mix them. That's correct. Okay, we're gonna combine this. And now you got something to heal yourself, and I got something to heal myself. Alright, let's go, Ville. Okay, there's an ink ribbon here. To save your game. There's handgun bullets here, in case you're running out, if you don't have unlimited ammo. And there's machine gun ammo here. So, we're gonna run, not there, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go get this item. Okay, so here we go. This is the item we need. And your first crows of the game. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that too. Oh god, you suck at life. Get off of me, what the fudge? Oh, this is one way to start the fucking walkthrough. Die by crows. Ah, we're okay. How about that? They didn't even hurt. Document. Notice to all staff. This document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor West Operations Control Room and second floor southeast meeting room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. Have a nice day. She had it in her, she had it. She, had, she said thank you in her letter. Document. True, very true. All right, so we're done here. There's nothing here. So, the item she picked up, you're gonna hand that over to Billy. Because only he can use the crank to get her up there. She can't do it. Crap, can't even get through the thing. Here, you're gonna come back here. But we're gonna get a document that's in this room. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training fa training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership uh, leadership qualities. Oh my god. Okay. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, and unity. 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 <laughs> <laughs> These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. 
Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor toward yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. Okay, so you're in the way. Can you move? Thank you. All right. Uh, we have to come back here to the umbrella uh, podium. Uh, this would be shotgun ammo and ink ribbon if you want to save your game right here I don't need it of course but for you guys first time playing don't be afraid to save your game you do not want to lose progress Okay, uh, we can't open that door, so we have to go downstairs. Da 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 da. Wait, is it downstairs? No, it was that same room. It was that same room. I am sorry, I'm like all turned around. It's been a while. Okay. Stuck. Alright. Alright, you have to come in this room. Over here. Shit, double kill. Oh snap. That is so freaking awesome. Okay. Total badass by Billy. Magnum. Best one of the best guns in the game. Okay, there's a map here. Alright, to uh oh, my bad. To read this map, which everybody knows, um, red is Becca, blue is Billy. So if you separate them, you know where they can be. Green means you just entered that room. Blue means there are things to search in this room. Actually, blue means you're actually in the room. Green means you just seen the room. Gray rooms mean you never been in those rooms. Okay, as you can see this old man with this picture with the light, we're gonna need the lighter here. But we can't use it because we need the freaking oil. There is handgun ammo. Oh, ink ribbon, my bad, sorry. Ink ribbon, ink ribbon there. There's a handgun ammo somewhere around here. No? Okay. Anyway, who cares? Rebecca, go in there. I'll go alone. Roger. So she'll be there. Right there. I'll put this. And let her go up. Now, as soon as you're up there, make sure you have your gun equipped. And ready, aimed. Because this is going to happen. Boom! Jump scare for bug haters. <laughs> yep. You got more ammo over here. Don't need it. We have to come back to this room for this clock. Very important. Now, I would say kill all the bugs, but since she has a freaking rocket launcher, it's not easy to aim for these freaking crows. So the best thing you could do is run. If you had a handgun, you could shoot them easily. Okay, we're gonna come all the way down here. 
to this door over here. And you're gonna drop. Oh, maybe he has to do it now. Never mind. Come back down here. You're gonna unlock the door for Billy. Now you're gonna come to this door and get your first grenade launcher. After killing these bugs. Whee! <laughs> now I advise you not to use it yet. Show you the shotgun. Okay, the shotgun ammo. We're going to drop the rocket launcher because we don't need it. So you know what? You could equip this and start shooting it, but it doesn't make any sense. You have to. Okay, you're gonna pick up that. This door needs a key, so you're gonna come back here. So it's no big deal. The grenade launcher is very important because you're going to get some flame rounds, incendiary rounds. Incendiary rounds are good against those slimy cretins. Those slimy cre- uh, what do you call it? Leeches. They look like human beings. They are very effective on that. So you're going to make her come down here. And then we're just going to wait for Billy. Alright, so Billy is going to take his time coming back. Now we need to get him to where Rebecca is. It's creepy the way to just stand there like that. Okay, I'm gonna head right back here. Now that she opened the door for us, we don't have to go and trek a long way to go find her. Okay, the one hit kill gun is good for this enemy because the more she is hanged by this bug, the more damage she takes. So you don't want to take too long doing that. So we're going to drop the hook shot right here. And we're going to go and help her out. Whatever you do, after he done moves this, you press triangle very quickly because you don't want to move him. If you move him, he drops this crate. You don't want to do that. So you're going to press triangle, switch to her, get the key, and get kidnapped. I got quite Crap. Yeah, she takes damage the more she's being held. Billy! Use the one hit gun to take him out quick. Yeah, she's fine. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Now you're going to equip her gun because she magically did not use it. 
And now we're gonna go and we're going to give this to Billy. I'm gonna give this to Billy because we're gonna be using him for a lot of everything we do. All right, let's go. She's acceptable to damage for some reason. She's weak in this game. Awesome, powerful guns, but one hit, she get terribly caution. Billy could take a hit, an extra hit, so he's the, the best person to use. All right, we're gonna come here to save storage space. I'm gonna place the statue here before it's time. Now we're gonna go and open the door in this room. You could go exploring and opening other doors if you want. I'm just trying to make it quick for you guys. All right, you're gonna come over here, open this door. This fancy door. And we're gonna push this table. Because we're gonna need it. Okay, there's ammo here. More shotgun ammo. And document. Assistant Director's Diary. A useless bunch of trainees as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so can't complain I guess. William and Albert. They might have a future. Uh, you think? Scholar. The only best ones the levels work in there. Scholar Will, Practical Al. They really are opposites. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this fa training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Uh, okay. They already hate each other, but yeah, your, your help is uh, essential too, I guess. Yeah. Turn on the lights. Okay, you have to move. Thank you. And there we go. Yeah, you gotta move these characters out the way with the R3 if you're playing with the PS4. And the, the little nub on the GameCube if you're playing on GameCube. But, yeah, you have to move them out the way or else they can't move things properly. And then it will get you angry because you'll be like, what the F? Move. Alright, let's go back up. Okay, we're gonna head all the way over here. Now we're gonna go to the kitchen. Now, if you played this game, you're probably thinking, why didn't you go to the kitchen first and then come back up here? Because then this way you don't have to go back and forth. Yeah. I don't care. I just do what I gotta do. So we're going here, get the lighter, and coming right back in that same area again. I 
I like the one hit kill gun. So awesome! Okay, there's ammo here in case you guys don't go around the table like I did and you just went straight for the door. And now there's no more use for this key. Throw it away. Now, in this room, we're only gonna get the oil can. And we're going to combine it with our lighter. There is... I think there is a... No, there's nothing here, just a lighter. Okay. If you're playing it on the computer, there will be certain mods you can use to have fun with it. Like change up all the zombies to different characters, whatever you want. Sadly, I'm not playing it on my computer. Now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna go right back in that same room we just left. We're gonna light that thing now. And we're gonna acquire the book. The good book. Which book is it? The good book. <laughs> it's a good book! It's a very, very good book. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go through this door. Yeah, kill a couple of zombies. Try not to make her follow you up there. Because, you know. I'll check it out. Okay. So as you can see, there's grenade rounds here. I don't need it. I'm gonna push this bookshelf. Secret book. A good book. Then you're gonna open it and it should be the angel's wings. I mean, what harm can it do? It's a good book. <laughs> now we're gonna come back down. Come on. Roger. I'm gonna get out of this room. Now we're gonna head to the scales. That's the next step we have to do. And we're gonna pick up the angel. I mean, do I have enough room for this? Okay, I do. We're gonna combine the wings and then we're gonna place her. So we're finished with her. Now we need the next part. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head for the clock. Right? It's in the, no, it's the other one. Ooh. I 
know what? I am sorry. I was going the right way. I was going up the right way. You gotta go to the clock. Now, Billy can kill these birds. No problem. He's gonna smoke. Son of a bitch! Thank you. Where are they? Oh my god! She's actually doing her job. Holy shit. Only thing is, why does she wait until I get attacked and then? Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I am okay. Never mind. Okay. Um. There's green herb here. Don't need it because I'm not in caution. Yeah, if I was playing Rebecca, she done got in caution already. Okay, uh, okay, here. As you recall, the note said 815. For the first floor, west operation room, and the second floor, southwest. Okay, so we're going to put the hand here. And we're going to do hour. He said 8 o'clock, so 11, 10, 9, Eight. Then we're gonna go to the minute hand. It's at 15. 5, 10, 15. And we're gonna press OK. Alright, now we're gonna head for the first room upstairs. Oh, there's red herb there. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Alright, one thing we have to do... Yeah, we have enough room. Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna need like three space for those emblems. And then you're gonna need her to have some space for the key and blue herbs. So we're gonna go to this room first. Okay. Verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth, the earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. If you know this, the moon bows to the earth means obedience. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. That is discipline. I think the first one is discipline. The other one is obedience. And the great law of the sun governs all things. Unity. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heavens. 
so if you just want to know what that poetry is about, that's what that is about. Okay, so shotgun ammo here. And the microfilm B. So now we got A and B. So it's good that you come up here first because now when we go downstairs, we just get the microfilm itself. So we're gonna go downstairs. See, it's a good thing you guys didn't go down here in the beginning because if you guys was exploring, you'll see a monster will come out after you guys after you check um, the room once you've gone into the room. So technically you're going to be attacked like two times and then that guy hurts a lot harder. So if you go in this bathroom, there's a gas, can gas tank in there and I think empty bottles in there. And some handgun bullets, I think. And there's a leech in there. A leech man in there that can hurt really bad. And if you shoot him with this one hit kill gun, he will explode and kill both your characters. That's why you need the incendiary rounds. So he doesn't explode. And if you go around and check this door. Or go inside this room as I'm going in now. You will be attacked by the leech man a second time. So it's two times. But if you come here the first time, you only get attacked one time by the leech man. So good luck if you're not playing with unlimited ammo. Right. So the handgun bullets here if you're running out. Uh, right. Then you're gonna come around here. And you're gonna put the first microfilm. Which deals with just the tables. Then you're gonna insert B, which deals with the numbers and letters. So as you can see, 1 through, F, uh, 0 through F. You gotta memorize this. Unless you're a type of person who can't remember this stuff and you have to look in your file, then you look in your file, you have it on your file. But if you're a person who can remember this by just looking, you don't need to go into your file. You cut time and just deal with it just like that. Shorten the time. If you're running the game in like speed runs. I don't do speed runs. I'm just like everybody else. I just play a game normally. Just doing the walkthrough to help you guys out. For a first time, people who doesn't understand how to get through this game. And there you go. So I'm gonna shoot him with my Magnum. As you can see, he's gonna explode, and we must go over. See? Ow! And now we have leeches running about. That's why you need the fire. So those things don't come out. And of course, she's gonna stain the freaking thing. Becca, what the hell? Yeah, that's this is why you don't want leeches come out because the character end up separating for no reason and if they're not good at protecting themselves it'll be this detrimental okay. for you if you don't have any herb or anything. Oh, lucky for her she got that big ass grenade launcher. She sure did. Saved her life. Now we're gonna come back over here this door and we're gonna come all the way down here to the podium again but this time we we're, have a disc we're checking out the little TVs zero a 
there's no input, so of course you gotta press the stupid thing. Yeah, I got it! Okay, so Rebecca... Let's split up. Okay. You take zero. So that's zero, one, one, two, three. The second aisle is four, five, six, seven. Third aisle. Eight, nine, A. Not that one. This one. Okay, Rebecca, you first. Press the button! And me turn. Press the button! That should unlock the barricade doors. Press the button! <laughs> Let's regroup. Roger. Okay, so we're gonna go down here first, since this is the first door that's open to us. Zombie. Zombie. Now we're gonna come in here. In here is where you get the incinerary rounds. And you do have handgun ammo. Yep. The, the room with the big chest table. Right. You have ink ribbon. In case you need to save your game again, if you're not saving already. Okay, so here is the incendiary rounds. This is what you, you need. This is important. And we're going to exchange it to her. And she will mix it with this. Throw away this. Now she got the right weapon. Now I don't have to kill those things. She can. Okay, so let's push this thing. To solve this puzzle, if you want to know, if you don't have me, what you can do is look here. As you can see, the castle and the king is on that side. So since the king is next to the castle on the opposite end, you have to push him down to the right hand side. To cause a checkmate. Push the thing. Okay. So we're gonna push this all the way over here. Alright. Now, if you move any of these pieces by accident, you will cause a poison gas to seep through the the room. Come on, push the thing. Push the thing. Push it. There you go. Okay, now push it. Evil book. This is a bad book. It's a terrible book. So, oh, shall we round the table? You're gonna pick up this. Now you're wondering. We got the book. But where's the statue? We will find the statue next. Marcus Diary, December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We call. We have called it the progenitor. The progenitor? The progenitor. Progenitor. Yeah. Progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care. As long as I can continue my research into a progenitor, he can do what he likes. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, 
but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore our, all this virus secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks a progenitor has nothing more than a money spinning tool. <sighs> Fool. <laughs> but, if, <I'm> right. <laughs> but if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop progenitor, I must straighten my own position too. At last, I discovered the way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base, mixing it with leech DNA, which was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for tyrant. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper ma mammalian uh, subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. But perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. At last. They are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence. They will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon, I will control everything. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. Today, I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they are after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Birkin smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust. Apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Okay, so Marcus m created the T-Virus through the progenitor DNA and leech DNA. Okay. Awesome. And he trusts Albert and what? Would you come over here? For crying out loud. <laughs> Chess. <laughs> Big chess table. King me. Wait, that's checkers. <laughs> Checkmate. There we go. Ah, zombies. Oh, I didn't see you. Okay, you got some herb here. Pick up the damn. Eh, forget it. Can't pick it up. Document. Uh, we are re we are searching the facilities, and it looks like a lot of the chemicals survived. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still all full. We have just started, and there is still a lot of we don't know. But it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about, not because of the accident, more a result of plain mismanagement. When we reopen the, res the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrolled in the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green plus red equals stripping agent. So you have to know that. What they really meant to say is green means the green tank that you see in the rooms. You must mix the green tank with the red tank to make the stripping agent. And then you're going to need the red tank and then blue tank for the sulfuric acid. I will show you that. After I pick up these things. These are important. Damn it. Okay. Okay, let's mix these herbs. There you 
you go. There you go. And here you go. Now we combine and combine. Uh, oops. Damn it! I meant to do that. She want all the guns for herself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't protect you without the gun. <laughs> Open this book. Nice. Double wing. Alright. Switch back to Rebecca. Alright. What the hell? Put your gun back on. What are you doing? Alright. This is the green tank. So you're going to need this. You're going to touch this. Now you have the green chemical. So as you can see, it's in here. Here we go. Let's go. Let's uh, head for upstairs. Oh wait, I shouldn't do that. Wait. No, no, no. Go back. No, 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 I'm going the right way. Oh my god. I'm going the right way. Yeah, another botch. Okay, we're gonna head to the kitchen area and then get up, go up the ladder. We're gonna get the statue. And then we'll come out that same area. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Don't worry, that zombie gets up. But since we're moving here so fast, he has not. Okay, here is the dough. Oh shit, why did you do that? Where is it? Come on, it should be right here. Oh my god. Oh shit, that's the other thing. You scared me, Billy. Okay. There's a black statue. So racist. Uh, are we gonna give this to Billy? Since he has the wing. There you go. Now we got the devil statue. So if you come over here, this is the shotgun everybody loves, which we're not going to pick up because we don't need it. Here's the gas tank, don't need it. Since she's got the cinnary rounds for the grenade launcher, you do not need those molotovs anymore. So you could just throw that away if you have it on you. Or you could keep it with you. If you have unlimited Molotov, you could give it to Billy. I forgot there's an area where you will meet one of them and... and yep. Uh, we're gonna come in a few minutes, we're almost done. Alright, so... Here's the green herbs. I don't think- I don't think we need them, but... I'm gonna go through this door. And 
And now we're back in here again. So that's a little quick run around. Don't really have to, but you know. You could just get the statue from that room and just come back out. You don't need to go up the ladder like I did. You could save bullets by doing that. And you're gonna come up here. And give me this thing. This will open the pathway through the picture. Yes, that was a doorway. Okay, so now we've done that. We are going to head inside. And this is where the blue herb comes into play. Sorry, Billy. Did you die? Okay, you, you're still good. See what I mean? He could take a hit, people. There you go. So, meaning if you did get hit by that acid cleanly, you will be poisoned. Right. Okay, so here's a document. This just tells you how many people died and what they used to... for experiments. Mm, there's blue herb here and green herb. I don't think we need one. Do we? I'll just pick it up anyway. If we don't need it, then we can always drop it. There is ink ribbon here, if you want to save at this point. service. Time to go inside. You're so helpful. It's a torture chamber. <gasps> oh, James and your weird fantasy. <laughs> okay, so there's a document over here. About the power regulator. Due to the recent lightning strike, the power regulator continues to be inoperative. It wouldn't really matter about the power, except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. The equipment is so run down, I'll probably have to have it fixed up all the time. If you wish to exit rapidly, set the indicator to 70. Check first through the that everything is connected to the chain. So we gotta put the power back on. Before we do that, it's time to lead Billy to the shortcut. Well, literally just, you know, take him to the point where he has to run half the way. This way you don't have to run the long way. Now, if you just run through this whole damn hallway without killing the spiders, I feel bad for you guys when the time runs up. Because there is a time limit. You have to save her. That's why I'm running through this now. So I don't have to take forever. 
to get to the place where you need to be. Because once that cutscene starts, you'll have a time that you'll have to run through this whole thing. So I'm going to show you the area. You're going to run through those stairs, and then you're going to come to this door, the kitchen area. Past the zombie. And down here. This is where you'll wait. Okay, so let's set the power on. And you'll get a cutscene. And there goes the time limit. Take too long, she will fall and die. So it's up. Up. Down. Up. And the last one should be up. That room just holds a lot of ammo, so if you want to get into that room, it's nothing much in there, just ammo. And now the gas goes out. Now you're free to go through that area. You are wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. <laughs> oh no! He brought out the monkeys! <laughs> the I like you. Hug me! I want to be hugged. I'm so heavy for some reason. just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. It's amazing but if somehow it is true, in dark then Umbrella like will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? What I do best? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Who cares? Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> wow. Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. Ah, oh, you know my I'll secret! find it, set it off, <laughs> and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Wow, you guys are evil. Uh, oh, I can't. Hold on. Hang on, toots. I'm coming for ya. Here comes Billy to save the day! Again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. I know, right? Like, how is she able to talk in her radio? You're hanging. You're dangling. If you have, if you if you have strength enough to talk in your walkie-talkie, you should have strength enough to pull yourself up. Whoa! That monkey. Oh, more ammo right there. Just in case you guys are getting out. Oh, 
And this is the room to get her out. See what I meant by time limit? Because she would have fallen to her death. Game Rebecca. over. Hang on. I'll pull you up. Ta-da. Thank you. Don't mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? Domino? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, <laughs> this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Did you manage to get Rebecca, extra cheese? Answer me. <laughs> no, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him, over. Yeah, he needs to get the coke. <laughs> Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, so. I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Ah, she will. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. Or give you I some I just cheese. want to know the truth. Damn it. It was around this time last year. <laughs> Gotta tell her my secret. In order to get an extra slice Our of that unit pizza. was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. <laughs> Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. Billy, you're going too far. <laughs> we can't keep up. As far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. I'll take a nap here. Where's the nearest Walmart? Four of us survived. Four of us survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? Yeah. The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. And steal their water. Stole their Forget lunch about money? It. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. <laughs> I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Fuck. Now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. I took you think it was those zombie dogs, right? <laughs> and you when took their bubble gum, the van, right? <laughs> you were able to escape. I isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or, some or keep on running for as long as I can. That. <laughs> keep running as long as I can, or chew some gum. Big red. <laughs> Big hot red. Yeah, ink ribbon, save your progress. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh wait, we have to go in here. Okie dokie. Spider one. Spider two. What? Still alive? Oh, you lucky. You would have got poisoned. <laughs> I would have left your ass. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this room. Number two. Yeah, spider number two. All right, in here has the locker key. You you could be in here and get the locker key, or you could skip this this room altogether. But I choose to get the key. Yay! Okay, now you got the locker key. You come right in here. Uh, that's why it says not really important. It's just to get the upgrades for your handgun that um Rebecca has. So here's a room full of ammo. Machine gun ammo if you needed ammo. Handgun ammo. Uh, shotgun ammo. And... Magnum ammo. And then in here... Is where you put the key. And this gives you a briefcase. And then, um, you're gonna take the briefcase, you're gonna look on the side here, it says 385, so it says 3, 8, 5. So as you can see, handgun parts. Damn it. You don't need it. Oh, come on. My god. Damn controller. Alright, uh... I would make her stay here. I'll go alone. Roger. Unless you give her the freaking um... No, stay at the, the controllers. Alright. Unless you give her the magnum and he take the... Flame rounds. Then, um... You could bring her in here, but I, I wouldn't because you're going to be fighting some two hunters and one hit from that, she'll go in caution and if the other hunters sneak attack her, um, he'll get hurt. I mean, she'll get hurt. Bad. Oh my god. Let's regroup. Oh my god. I'll go alone. Roger. Don't. Oh my goodness. Didn't mean to do that, folks. Alright, center. Yeah, stop touching that big button. Come on. Alright. I think it's left again, or is it right? I think it's left. Is it left? It's left. So it's left, center, left. Switch. Press button. And kill. Not cool, man. Die, bitches. He ain't get the whole ass. If you don't have the unlimited ammo, just grab the key as best you can and just haul ass. Get out of there. <laughs> then again, they won't let you escape unless you kill Roger. them. So good luck. <laughs> unlimited ammo. You're home free. Okay, so we finished this area. Now we're gonna get one of the emblem that we need to get out. 
And there's one room that's useless that you don't need to go into, but it's good to get the document. If you're running for that trophy of getting all files, I think. So handgun there. Now this reads, Six souls in prison within the chains of death rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. So, we gotta do from strong to weak. The strongest one so far, it will be the deer because they know how to hide. I stand tall on the earth with horns proudly displayed. So this one gets burned first. The second strongest would be the wolf. My sharp wits allowed me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. So the wolf kills the deer. We will which is acrid. Very acrid. Then we go to the horse. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. So, of course, the horse tramples over the wolf. So. Horse. Tiger. I am the king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. So even the fastest horse can't escape a freaking leopard. So, tiger, snake, I creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. So the snake poisons the tiger, kills it, done. Now to the weakest. A bird. I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. And of course, the bird kills the snake. Because it has no legs. Like a worm. The snake dies. And there, you solve it. Damn freaking damn camera. So this is the room where it's useless. There's a document in here. Yeah, that's true. Bird. Yeah. All right, because the document. What is it that Director Marcus is researching all the time? And what's with his weird interest in leeches? Interest. Seems more like love at times. Rumor has it that there's something dangerous about those leeches. It is true that when Dennis just touched one, he got ill with a fever. Again today, there were those horrible moans beyond that door. Let sleeping dogs. No way I'll go near them. Even if the director ordered me, I don't want to end up like Dennis. That poor bastard. Scratching and scratching. Makes me itch just watching him. Must maybe go. If can but Elwa Dennis gone I go hungry help mom and he's dead don't kill them let's just go through the door he ate Dennis why you gotta kill the poor guy he's just trying to get a meal Oh, wait. This one. This is an important door. This has the emblem. And a document. Uh, that's not it. Maybe not. I don't care. Unity table. Tablet. Okay, we keep 
Oh, good. Freaking camera angles. Alright. Alright, a couple more rooms to go to and we are done. Oh, wait. You got the red herb, right? Not the blue herb, I want the red herb. That's the one. It'll take the blue herb. Blue herb take the red herb. There we go. Now we good. Let's go. This door. And now. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to go into the room where we drop the rocket launcher. to open this door. Nope, throw it away. I'm gonna make her go first since she has the flame rounds because there are leech guys here. First things first, we're gonna get the battery. Oh, never mind. We're gonna get the emblem first then. Okay. So make sure you shoot that guy and don't make Billy shoot him. Since he's got the magnum, because that will just make him explode and you don't want to get damaged. Stop it! There you go. Just keep shooting him and hope to pray that you shot him before he did. It's a small hallway, you could get damaged very bad. Okay, so. I'll go check over there. Okay. Okay, here's a little fun fact here. She can mix her, but she can't do this. I helped. <laughs> yeah, just make her stand by this door. Yeah, it's a door. Okay, Billy. Billy, here, 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 here. come on. All right, here we go. Here's his talent. He can't mix her, but he can. Play the piano. There's magnum ammo here. Don't need it. Just showing you the ammo. An empty bottle. Just in case you will need it. I'm gonna take this. 
the battery. Door will close behind her, and you have to play the piano again. This is why you have to separate them. to see this again okay come on let's go okay oh my god camera angles kills me every time they are a pain no oh, forget the leeches to this door. Oh, we went to the wrong door. Shit. That's the ammo area, but this guy will come out. Damn it! Shot. Oh my god! Oh god. I got you. Uh, see what I'm talking about? He is still fine. <sighs> Damn, Billy. Okay, so we gotta put the thing in here. <laughs> Discipline. Come on. Obedience, actually. Alright, now we're gonna go and get the discipline one. Which, that's what we need the battery for. Forget the leeches. Forget the leeches. Come on. My God, Billy. Help me. I got you. Everybody okay? Everybody's okay. Let's get out. Damn it, leeches. <laughs> yeah, I shot Billy three times with a freaking flame, flame uh, rounds, and he didn't die. <laughs> he should have been burned up. Should be like, oh, <laughs> burned up, you bitch! Why? <laughs> so funny. Come on. This way, Billy. Going to the front door. The next one. Thus, killing the crows. Okay, I'm gonna place the battery in here. I will call the lift with the box. And we're going to push this box. Billy, get out the way. Okay, you can come back now. No, Billy! Oh my god, Billy. Billy, no! <laughs> 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 
Good, Billy. Billy, old boy, old Billy, old man. God damn it. Okay. I'm gonna push it again. One more time. And we got this one. All right, let me see. Okay, so you're gonna give me that. Come on, second button. Uh, now you go. Let's go. Now we're gonna go back. We got everything we need. We finish everything out here. We don't need to come back here anymore. Now we're gonna go to the next area. Okay, just in case, there was another one. Now you're gonna pick up the hook shot. Go to our final area. Switch to Rebecca, there's handgun ammo there. And you're gonna put the items in here. The tablets. Obedience. Unity. Everything that Marcus said in the beginning of the damn mansion. That's what you're putting. So it's obedience, discipline, and unity. Just like he said. <laughs> and not all hands reach to the heavens. There goes the observatory. Going down. Alright. So now the door's open. The door that we just came in now leads to the balcony where we killed those zombies. To reach to the podium boot area. That's why I said pick up the hook shut now because then you have to trek all the way back up or whatever. Now we go to the next area. Enter this too. Playing GameCube version. Right, right, right. right. Okay, we're gonna come through here. And come up here. I'm gonna make her step on this thing. You unlock that door. You stay here. Yeah. Actually, you stay here. Can I come to the store? And to this area. Okay, so this is ink, more flame rounds, and other stuff. Save area. So we're gonna stop it here. And defeat our first, our second boss of the game. Okay, thanks for watching. This is the 
Dragon Guide of Resident Evil Marathon for the guide for Resident Evil Zero. And with my partner in crime, Steven. <laughs> this is Dragon Reaper 35, and we'll see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>